We all want to help the causes we support. It feels good to give what we can easily afford if we know that it helped achieve something. But the number of causes has grown to the point that their requests for donations has just become part of everyday media static. Dr. James Tracy was a highly regarded professor of media studies whose job it was to critically analyze the media reporting of significant events. Dr. Tracy established the historically significant Memory Hole blog, where he published articles on material he found personally significant. That was perfectly reasonable and all was well. But then something changed. His name is James Tracy. This is a picture of him. This is what he looks like. Now he claims the shooting did not happen as reported and may not have happened at all. Here's what he wrote on his personal blog, and I quote, one is left to inquire whether the Sandy Hook shooting ever took place, at least in the way law enforcement authorities and the nation's news media have described. Perhaps we as a society have um, been conditioned to be duped. Now, I don't even really know what that means, what he is saying, what the words coming out of his mouth mean. For unknown reasons, Personally sharing honest analysis of the Sandy Hook event triggered a media attack on Dr. Tracy. The media began to pressure the university in which he was a tenured professor and labeled him the conspiracy professor. They implied that no line existed between the free speech he exercised on his blog and what he taught his university students. The media's witch hunt continued. The threats increased until finally the media published outright demands that he be fired. Dr. Tracy had faith that his tenured position as a member of the faculty protected him as it does all of academia. He was sure his role as a gifted teacher was protected and the attacks against him would be summarily ignored as irrelevant. Shockingly, Professor Tracy was fired from Florida Atlantic University on January 6th of this year. The reasons cited to justify the firing was failure to submit paperwork in a timely manner. But it was no coincidence that the media had accelerated the attacks. A dark day indeed for the university system in America. If left unchallenged, these unjust actions are surely not the last to expect for America. Therefore, a group of concerned citizens and fellow scholars have established the James Tracy Legal Defense Fund. The purpose of the fund is to retain the competent legal representation and assistance with research and ascertaining of the facts required to challenge these injustices and fully restore his professional academic reputation. Please help by donating whatever you can to the fund. Do yourself a favor and visit memoryholeblog.com. There you will see the fascinating writings of Dr. Tracy and others telling the truth and expressing their opinions. After seeing for yourself the rational and intelligent views expressed and the importance of protecting our right to express them, come back and donate to the fund that seeks to do just that.